When I talk to students about uh, the possibility of coming to the museum, interestingly enough, I don't think of what I'm doing as trying to sell them on the idea of coming. Uh, it, it's more of a letting them know that it's, it's an opportunity uh, of great significance for them. It's an opportunity to, to come to a place that uh, has the capacity to uh, frame uh, an image of themselves that they hadn't thought about before. The most striking experience for me this time around in the museum was listening to the Adolf Eichmann trial. Uh, the Eichmann trial, something that's always fascinated me, and listening to it this time, I was able to hear the testimony of a young man who was a survivor of a execution. Um, hearing his story, talking about the last time he spoke with his mother, and his mother instructing him, say the Shema before you die, so you die as a Jew. Uh, the second I heard that, I went instantly numb and started to tear up. I think it's very important to have both majors and non-majors come on this trip. Um, the Holoc to learn about the Holocaust isn't just for people who study it year-round, it's for everybody. This museum is a lesson in humanity and to show humanity at its absolute worst, which is to, le to learn about that is more important than ever nowadays. As you can see around the world, such horrible things are happening. So just anyone, whether it's architecture major or math major, to come on this trip and see this, it's very important. I think it's very important being a non-major and still coming on this trip. Being at Keene State for the past four years has really shown me what our liberal arts education means and how important it is to have a well-rounded education um, while you're in college and not just focus on your area of expertise. Being able to come on this trip, it's absolutely incredible. I think it's great that the Holocaust and Genocide Studies program offers it to non-majors because it could be very possible that they only offer it to their majors. We've got some students who've chosen to major uh, in the arts in some uh, fashion and they discover that the arts really have an impact on how people interpret themselves in their worlds and, and so the experience of the museum uh, breaks that open for them. Uh, we've got uh, some students who are planning to be teachers and they begin to recognize uh, some of the larger imp implications of what it means to be a teacher, what it means to be responsible uh, for children, particularly when they see exhibits of um, children being shaped in ways where they see people in dehumanizing uh, settings and dehumanizing dehum perspective. I think the most unforgettable part was seeing all of the shoes and the smell in the room of the shoes. I came in the eighth grade for the Washington DC trip and then when the opportunity came about to be able to come with Keene State, I had to take it because just now being older and after, like I said, going to Auschwitz and being able to see the museum, it's a whole new experience and I've been able to appreciate it more and I've been able to appreciate the history more, especially after um, taking Dr. Waller's class this semester with the honors program. He really opened my mind to the history of genocide and what has happened, not only in the Holocaust, but in other countries as well. And it made me want to come and learn more about the Holocaust this weekend. This museum has so much to, to share with the world. I feel like it's so important, even though I've been here six or seven times in the past three years, to just keep coming back, learn new, learn new things, um, refresh myself, help, uh, help other people see if they need it. So I just think it's very important to be here.